So what about these New Year's resolutions? I mean, it's everywhere. This is the time of year. And I've been watching all these commercials on TV and it's just like ridiculous. It's, you know, all the freaking treadmill people are coming out. All of the Weight Watcher stuff's coming out. All of the stop smoking is coming out. And then it really blew my top when I saw the Special K commercial. Uh, if you haven't seen that one yet, Special K cereal came out with this brilliant idea that uh, in order to feel special, you need to eat special. And ha, ha Special K, eat our cereal and you'll feel special. And that's the way to feel good about yourself. And I thought, you know, <laughs> it's a bunch of bullshit and it has to stop. You know, all this stuff about, you know, resolutions and achieving goals. And, you know, I'll say this, that, and, and I, I speak of this, you know, from personal experience because, you know, you can set all the goals you want, but when you look at it, I mean, look at how many people set goals this time of year and within the first month, I mean, they're done. They, they, they've given up, you know, it's like 97% of people have given up on weight loss goals by the end of this month alone. So, you know, it's clearly we need something more than just goal setting and, and, and there's kind of a deeper underlying issue that goes on with it. It's not simply saying, you know, affirmations or thinking positive thoughts or, you know, writing your goals down. I mean, I, I used to do this stuff like all of the time. I wrote affirmations down on paper. I used to write these things down on paper. And like I, I drove my wife nuts when in 2005 we moved over, um, we moved from San Jose to, to Tracy and we had an apartment in, in the city of Tracy. And I used to post this shit all over the walls in our apartment, like in the bathroom, in the bedroom. And, you know, it drove her nuts because she'd be seeing like these, you know, binder paper clippings on the wall. And I'd print things out from the computer and like all these motivational quotes and sayings and affirmations, you know, and it was cool. I mean, it, it's not like it doesn't help at all, but there's, there's like a deeper issue that goes on because most of the time what happens, like we, we say these affirmations, we believe these things or we set goals and we fail to achieve them. And, you know, then, then we feel even worse. We feel like failures. We feel like something's wrong with us. What is wrong with me? I'm broken. I need to be fixed. Everything works for other people, but not me. Something's wrong with me. And part of this, what happens is there's, there's two things at play. Um, you know, there's, there's subconscious beliefs that come into play and there's a confidence issue that comes into play. And I want to talk about the confidence issue today, um, which is a really big thing because as we feel more confident in ourselves, it, it carries over into other areas of our lives, right? Whether that be, you know, your health and fitness, having weight loss goals, or, you know, um, maybe, you know, you want to run a marathon or something like that. Whether it's um, career goals, getting a better job, getting a raise, you know, having, having something in your career that makes you happy. Whether it is a happiness goal, whether it's a relationship goal, whatever it is, one of those keys is confidence because the more confident we feel, then the more that carries over into other areas of our life. And we feel like it's almost like doors unlock, right? Things start to become better. Things flow to us easily, more easily, right? And so life, life feels better when we feel more confident. The problem is that what you hear about, what you read about building confidence, it's always about, you know, the same types of things as setting goals. It's like affirmations, right? Think of yourself as confident. Hold yourself up tall, right? Straighten up because when you straighten up your posture, you feel better. Read empowering books, right? Things like that empower your mind, right? Tell yourself, just feed yourself positive thoughts. These are all of the types of things that we are told to do. Fake it till you make it. What about that kind of shit, right? But when you think about it, none of those things really works. And when they do work, they don't work very long. They're not long-term solutions. So one of the keys to, to building confidence really has nothing to do with trying to be something that you're not. It has nothing to do with trying to hold up this, this exterior and, 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 and hold this image to the world because we're trying to portray ourselves in this world as somebody we're not. We, we hold up these masks. We deny the truth when things are really you know, shit's hitting the fan and there's a storm going on within us, we deny it, we suppress it, we try to ignore it, we try to, you know, positive affirmation it away and it never works. 
because we're, we're trying to control what's going on within us. Confidence is a feeling. And we're trying to control these feelings that are in here with what we're doing up here. So we're trying to hold up this, this false identity, being somebody who we're really not, of trying to hold up this mask. Somebody asks you, hey, how you doing? And you go, oh, fine, wonderful, life's great. Oh, I'm hashtag blessed all the time, right? When deep down, what if we really revealed the truth? What if we really revealed the truth and said, you know what? My life is going like shit right now. I feel like crap. I've gained 20 pounds. I feel horrible. Nothing in my life's working right. You know, I feel broken. I feel like something's wrong with me. I'm depressed. I'm sad. Things aren't turning out the way that I want them to be. I hate my job. I freaking hate my job. I get up every morning to do something I hate for 40 hours a week just for two miserable days off on the weekend, which I really only have one because Friday night when I get home, I am burnt out and exhausted and my day's already over and I'm not doing nothing then. And I spend Sunday not being able to do anything because I got to go to work and get up early Monday. So Saturday's my only day and I'm not happy with it. What if we admitted the truth? Now I'm going off on a bit of a tangent, but really what it comes down to is that key to building confidence. It, it's not going to come by trying to be somebody you're not, by trying to repress what's going on within you and, and deny the truth of what's really happening. So, you know, you can't out goal set it. You can't just wish it away. You can't just hold yourself up tall and act like everything's cool and put on this, this mask out in public and pretend to be something you're not because it never works. And what happens is you, you expend so much effort, so much time, so much energy into holding up this facade until you run out. And then when you run out, you are not that person. You haven't achieved what you want. Your life is no different. It's no better than it was before. And then you feel like a failure. And then what does that do to your confidence? It knocks it down even more confidence and self-esteem. Boom. So the key to building confidence is very simple. It comes down to, one, stop listening and, and stop trying to think about all the stuff that you're trying to portray. Stop worrying about what other people think about you. Who gives a shit what anybody thinks about you? Who cares? This is something that I had to really, I, I struggled a lot with and I catch myself from time to time doing it, worrying about other people's judgments. What are other gonna, people going to think about me? What are they going to say behind my back? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. The key to building confidence is not trying to be somebody you're not or, or do anything or, 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 or hold up this mask or deny or repress what's going on within you. The key to building confidence is when you can take yourself, all of you, and you can expose yourself, not in a literal sense. <laughs> Doesn't mean like taking off your clothes in public, although you could, but I don't recommend it, unless you like jail time. But the key is really being able to be vulnerable enough to expose yourself for who you are. And that means that you're not trying to hide your flaws. You're not trying to conceal certain parts of yourself that you are not comfortable with. You expose all of who you are, faults in all, all your imperfections, everything that you don't like about yourself. And you're able to expose that to, to whoever you're around, in public, wherever you go. And it's like saying, you know what world? This is who I am. I'm not perfect. I'm not completely happy with everything about me. In fact, I have a lot of imperfections. I have a lot of flaws. I have a lot of quirks. But you know what? This is who I am. And I'm comfortable enough with that to say, boom, I'm not hiding it. This is me. And that, that takes a lot more courage and inner strength to be able to open yourself up and be that vulnerable to do that with yourself, that takes a tremendous amount of courage and strength. And that is how you'll build confidence. When you can take all of you and expose it for everybody else to see, regardless, regardless of the personal cost, regardless of the judgments, regardless of what people might say about you, and you can say, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Because deep down, it doesn't, nothing that anybody says or thinks about you doesn't 
make you any less than who you are. It doesn't mean that you need something. It doesn't mean that you need to fix something. It doesn't mean that anything is wrong with you. It doesn't change who you are. You are complete. You are limitless potential within you. And nothing that anybody can say can ever change that. So when you can realize that and you can open yourself up, faults and all, regardless of the personal cost, that's how you build confidence. And as you start to build that confidence, your ability to achieve the things you want in any area of your life goes up tremendously. So don't worry about other people. Don't invest all of your time and waste this, this energy and all this effort trying to hold up some false identity of who you are not. Trust who you are is good enough. Trust who you are is absolutely perfect. It's who you are meant to be. And it's the one thing that makes you unique, unlike anybody else. Why would you want to pretend to be like anybody else or anybody that you're not? Because who you are, your experiences, where you've come from, seeing the world through your eyes, everything about you is unique. Nobody's got that but you. That's something that you should be very proud of and believe in with all you've got. So that's all I got for today. Forget about all the goal setting stuff because you don't need it. You don't need it. You just need a belief in yourself and be willing to put yourself out there for who you are and trust in that. It'll get you everything that you want. That's it for me right now. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. Let me know, did you get anything from this? Did you get anything from this video or no? Did you not get anything from this? If you got something from this, what exactly did you get from it? Let me know. Leave me a comment below. If you have any questions, ask away. Leave them down below. And uh, I will be back another time. Take care, you guys.